We're going to take a look today at a few MRE related products from the Bridgeford Company. These were all sent to me by YouTube user Gundog4313. He sent me a surprise box a few days ago and these are some part, this is part of what was inside of it. Well, these aren't true MRE products. They will be found in a genuine issue MRE. Bridgeford products are found in some genuine government products like the first strike ration. You can see right here the honey barbecue beef sandwich. That's one of the ones that we have here. I believe the only reason you don't see these in a regular MRE is that most regular MRE ent entrees are 8 ounces. These on the other hand are 3.5 ounces with less than half the size, which is probably the reason why they were in the first strike ration. The first strike ration is designed to replace three MREs, give you roughly the same amount of nutrients while being a lot lighter at the same time. So we're going to take a look at these and try them out. Let's see what we have. As I mentioned, we have the honey barbecue beef sandwich and bread. It's in the nutritional facts there. While it's small in size, it does have 330 calories. You can see you're not exactly eating this as health food, you're eating this to get energy and nutrients. We also have the sweet and sour chicken and bread, another shelf-stable sandwich. This one has 290 calories. I've seen a review by the epicenter.com on these and it didn't fare so well. So I'm looking forward to seeing what, it, what it's actually like for myself. The third one is a shelf-stable apple turnover. This could be seen as either a dessert item or a breakfast item. 290 calories on that one, 3.1 ounces. Now these are shelf stable, of course. We're gonna see, they're probably not gonna be too impressive. The sandwiches I think are gonna resemble something like a Hut Pocket sandwich. But of course these don't need to be frozen and these can be stored for a while. Uh, I don't know if they have the, quite, the uh, length of storage as a standard MRE, but it's gotta be pretty close. These don't have date codes on them but they do have a best used by date, July 8th, 2016. And on the Apple turnover, January 27th, 2017. So same basic principle as the MREs. These can be eaten as is, of course. They're ready to eat. You can just tear them open and eat them. Uh, but I am going to heat these up just to make them a little bit more palatable. As I mentioned, these don't need to be heated, but if you're going to heat them, you can do them pretty much the same as you do any other MREs. You can heat them up in a flame ration heater. Or you can put them in some hot water. And I'm just going to do that just to figure that would be the easiest, easiest way to go about it today. Just give them a few minutes in here. And then we'll try them out. Now these have been heated up for a few minutes. Go ahead and give them a try. See, the only thing I would say be careful about with these is if you do heat them up in water, uh, of course this is a just a paper label on here. If you're interested in the information you probably should read it before you get it wet because you might not be able to read it later. This is the honey barbecue sandwich and bread. I've had this one before but it was cold. I'm just going to see how it is. Heat it up. Had a bit of a tangy kind of a smell to it. Sweet and sour chicken and bread. Hmm. I don't really know how to describe that smell. Here's the apple turnover. Smells good. I smell a lot of cinnamon in there. Kind of looks like those French toast, stuffed French toast things that they make. i cut these up and try them out. Any barbecue beef. 
Not terribly impressive looking. I think the main thing that's interesting about these is the fact that they are shelf-stable, which means it's a barbecue sauce on some meat inside of a bread product, and the bread can stay bread-like without becoming all soggy for a couple of years. I think it's pretty tasty. It's not it's not delicious, it's not something you'd go out and get at the local deli. It definitely has a packaged food kind of a flavor. It tastes like an MRE kind of a food. But um I would definitely eat that. It's better better warm. This kind of thing, it does have barbecue sauce on it. But if you're looking at something barbecue-y, I would definitely recommend putting some more barbecue sauce on here. There's the sweet and sour chicken and bread. I'm not sure what to make of that. It doesn't really taste like any sweet and sour sauce I've had before. It's not terrible, but it's not very interesting. I think they would have been better off making this a barbecue chicken sandwich, but they probably wanted to have a little variety since they already had the barbecue beef. Barbecue or even like teriyaki probably would have been good. Now yeah, we'll try the apple turnover. It smells good. Let's get some apple in there. It smells a lot like cinnamon. It tastes kind of like a, like a packaged sort of apple pie filling kind of a taste. It's good though, it's sweet. Not too sweet. Overall everything's pretty good for what it is for being packaged food. I should mention that you can buy these uh, probably most places where you can get like camping type foods. I know the epicenter.com sells them. And there's a lot of plenty of other places online. And I'm pretty sure that Gundog4313 said that he actually got these at Dick's Sporting Goods. Some kind of an outdoor store, sporting goods store that would have like freeze dried camping food. They would probably have these if you're interested in trying them out. It was the Bridgeford Shelf Stable Foods. Thank you for watching.